So in the next uh, part of the halogens, we're going to look at a very specific type of redox reaction, and they are called disproportionation reactions. They're really, really cool reactions to do, and there are two that you need to know. And you need to know these equations off by heart, and they come under chlorine chemistry. So the best way to explain it is to actually put the equation up on the board. So we're going to do the first one. This one we use in water purification. So in water purification, you know that we purify, uh, we sterilise water. So it's very important to sterilise water to remove all the uh, nasty bacteria that are in water. We use chlorine. Those of you that go swimming a lot will know that you have chlorine in the water. Now it's not just chlorine dissolved in the water, it actually reacts with the water. So it's chlorine and it reacts with H2O. And it produces two substances with HCO, H2O. One is HCl and the other one is HClO. And that is chloric one acid. This guy, of course, is hydrochloric acid. So it makes hydrochloric acid and chloric one acid. Um, so let's have a look at the oxidation numbers for this. Oxidation number of elemental chlorine there. Zero. Zero, brilliant. If hydrogen there, hydrogen is always well, pretty much plus one. one, and oxygen is minus two. Hydrogen here is going to be plus one. What would chloride be here? Minus one. Minus one. And for these, hydrogen is plus one and oxygen is minus two. So what must chlorine be there? Plus one. Plus one. Yeah, because that gives me plus two. Minus two is there. How could you have known that anyway? Well, do you notice I call it chloric one acid? And we said that the one referred to the oxidation state of the chlorine. So if someone said, oh, what's chloric one acid? Well, chloric, you know, well, it's going to be Cl with an O. You need an H there, and the oxidation number of chlorine will be plus one. But the exciting thing is, ignore the, the hydrogen just stays as plus one. Hydrogen plus one plus one. Oxygen stays as minus two. But let's look at chlorine. Chlorine goes to there, but he also goes to there. So, in that case, let me just change the line. This one here, the chlorine's gone from zero to minus one, so that shows chlorine being reduced. But this line shows chlorine going from zero to plus one, which shows chlorine being oxidized. And this is an example of a disproportionation reaction where chlorine is both oxidized and reduced. So it's a very, very special type of redox reaction. The oxidation number of one element goes up and down. So one element, the oxidation number, one atom, the oxidation number increases, and the other atom, the oxidation number decreases. And that's what a disproportionation reaction is. You're happy with that. So it's chlorine, both goes up and down. So just watch that. The other example is the formation of bleach. And again, to make bleach, you start off with chlorine, but you react it now with sodium hydroxide solution. And if you do that, again, you get a disproportionation reaction. You make NaClO. Um, you also go to make, you need two Na, so you need uh, NaCl and H2O. and you're going to need two of those. Um, by the way, that 
is bleach. NAC yellow is bleach. Um, otherwise known as sodium chlorate one. That's it. So let's do our oxidation numbers for this now. Chlorine is going to be zero. They all say the same. Chlorine one, no, chlorine is um, sodium chlorate one. The clues in the name is going to be, yeah, plus one. And if NaCl is going to be minus one. So chlorine, there to there, has been oxidized. But there to there has been reduced. So another lovely example of a disproportionation reaction where um, one atom is oxidized and the other atom is reduced, but it's of the same element. That's the key thing to remember.